Now, NBC 25 weather. Welcome back, everyone. I'm meteorologist Simon Badgey. We have more frost in the forecast. I get it away, but before we get there, we actually have a little bit of warmer temperatures and some sunshine to look forward to as well. Let's take a look outside and see what's going on for tonight. 48 degrees is what we're looking at for your low overnight tonight. Just some drizzle is what we're looking at after this main band of showers goes through, mainly around midnight. Northern counties, I'll get to you guys in a second. It'll end for you guys a little earlier as we head towards the overnight hours. But for everybody down to the south, it's going to be a little wet still. Let's break it down county by county. 48 degrees for our southern counties. Showers are likely drizzle again as by the time we get to the morning. Actually, that will continue on into the morning hours a little bit early. We have some drizzle, but then we start to clear on up. We're looking at sunshine during the afternoon hours. You can see how the rain just kind of drops off a little bit. I'm not talking about a lot of sunshine. The National Weather Service is trying to give us a little more. They're a little more optimistic than I am, but we're looking at partly cloudy skies at the least. And then, you know what? If we get a little more sunshine than that, that's just good news. As we go into the Tri-Cities area, 48 degrees for your low overnight as well. Showers again are likely turning to drizzle a little earlier in the overnight hours because you know what? It's just sliding on down to the south. Northwest winds 5 to 10 and it picks up as we go into tomorrow. 10 to 15 mile per hour winds out in the northeast. Partly sunny skies is what, we're, is what we're looking at. Scattered showers actually continue on in the early morning hours. But you know what? After that, we should be okay as we head into the afternoon. Now into the northern counties we go. Here's the important part. 44, 45 degrees for your low overnight. The important part's right here. We dry up as we head into the overnight hours, mainly around midnight. And then you know what? You guys are looking at nice, mostly clear skies for tomorrow. Still a little cool. 62 degrees for your high. We are going to be bumping that temperature up a little bit, but not before we get to the chance of having a little more frost. But before we get to that part, 11 o'clock tonight, we're setting our model into motion. You can see the band of showers just has basically a cutoff line. That's the cold front that's going to be sliding on through, and that's what's going to be causing the lows overnight on Monday night into Tuesday morning. Now, we clear on up right behind it, so by the time we get into late tomorrow afternoon, we're looking at just some mostly clear skies after the partly cloudy skies. Plenty of clearing with high pressure out to the west, and as we set the model into motion again, it's just nice and clear. There's really not much to look at until we have this cloud shield coming back up again as we head towards Thursday, and that's the next chance of showers. But this is the main thing to look at. 36 degrees for your low from Monday into Tuesday morning. We're going to be watching for frost again. I don't think it's going to be as drastic as we had before, but we are still going to have to watch for a frost advisory or two. Now, Tuesday and Wednesday, though, we're looking at mostly clear skies. Thursday and Friday, scattered showers and storms. Friday has the main bullseye, though, with 80 degrees for your high. Brittany? Uh, all right, thanks, Thomas.